Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing very well. So I recently did a video looking at external stores on aircraft and checking out whether and how the drag is modeled on those external stores and that was all good and the follow-up question for you guys is okay so in that case are the actual mounts the pylons themselves modeled in terms of drag in terms of weight? Now there's only two aircraft I'm aware of in which we can fly it with just those pylons and then remove those pylons and that's the F5E and the F18C Hornet. Let me know if there's any others but I don't think there is at least at the moment. So those are the guys we're going to do the test with. So we'll start off with the F5E and the easiest way of testing is, is just to see how fast the plane can go at sea level with, with a static Q&H with the pylons on then I'll drop the pylons and see how fast it can go without the pylons and that's going to tell us pretty, pretty much everything we need to know about these. So let's get in the F5, Pong. So first things first, we need to hit the Admiral's doorbell, if we can remember where that is in this aeroplane. There it is, pion, pion. And I'm going to want to fire our missiles, so that's like this. And pause it there, check the bird. Sweet, okay, so we've got our five pylons on there, but no stores. Fuel burn is turned off, so we don't have to worry about that polluting our results. So let's just see at sea level how fast we can get the bird now. And we're working tasks for this. Okay, I don't think we're going any faster than that. That is 682 knot true speed with pylons on, which is just over Mach 1. Not sure if we've got a Mach meter in here. I can't see it anywhere, but ah, there it is. Okay, so next we need to dump the pylon, so I just need to remember how to do that. Uh, all pylons. Check that. Yay, off they go. Super streamlined F5, and let's see what happens. I know we've lost a bit of speed now because I was joking about, but let's see what happens now to the drag. And the major uh, contributing factor, the limiting factor for airspeed is all about drag. So let's see what happens. Well, amazingly, the answer is no. It's the same speed. I was really not expecting that. Let me just zoom that forward a little. So the answer is, drag of the pylons is not modelled in DCS for the F5. Um, and that's kind of annoying because uh, we always assumed it was, and so we always made the effort of dumping our pylons, but... You know, uh, that is a massive amount of uh, drag down there with those pylons, and that should have made uh, 10, 20 knots difference, at least. So that is a disappointment. We've been seeing some really good results for DCS lately, and that is a disappointment. So that needs calling out. And I hope it's not the same as the F-18. Um, so I guess we'll go and have a look. All right, F-18. So this one has full pylons on, two large on the wings, and one on the belly and nothing else was removable so let's check our top speed we can achieve again max fuel and no fuel burn this is topped out 755 mac 1.15 at 200 feet 755 755 or 765 uh, in tas right let's try the next one and we're clean Crap, it's exactly the same. How disappointing. Am I being a complete idiot here? Am I doing something wrong? I'm not, am I? That is the pylon's gone, and it goes exactly the same speed, which is true, 765. So the answer is, aerodynamically, that they are not modelled. Oh, I'm gutted about that. Right. Okay, it's not what I thought was going to happen. Um, uh, so in terms of everything aerodynamic, they're not going to make any difference. Uh, in turn, they're not going to make any difference either. Um, now, we could also say that because of their weight, they should make some difference. So we can go and check out the weight of the aircraft on the runway, which will do that. But by the looks of things, that's probably not modelled either. But we'll go and check it out. Okay, so with the pylons, the bird is... Uh, 3, 6, 8, 90 without the pylons. Stand by. Three, six, eight, ninety. So no, they're not modelled in weight 
or in aerodynamics. That's really disappointing. I'm rarely find myself disappointed in DCS whenever I do these kind of random tests, but that is a bit shocking to be honest. Uh, that should make a difference in weight, should make a difference in turn, central fugal forces, should make a difference in aerodynamics. I don't think it's going to be well, I personally don't think it'll be particularly difficult to model that. You know, you just treat them as external stores at the end of the day. So I think that, that needs cooling out. Also, I was just thinking in my head, the Harrier, you can separate uh, stores and pylons and drop those pylons. I remember on that. So that could be tested, but I, I'd be amazed if that works and these don't. Uh, so that closes that rather sadly, but needed doing. I hope you that was useful and see you later.